Hey there. This is Zachary Lytle, captain of Team Scorpios. And I'm here working on Scorpios as I'm trying to gear up for season six. Today is the first day of the Scorpios Builder Blog. I'm starting this to try to give fans and audience members a chance to see what it's like to be a BattleBot Builder and what we do throughout the year to get ourselves ready for the competition. So, thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoy what you see. And... Uh, that's how you take out an old broken clutch. So the team refers to this as Scorpios number four. It's the robot we purchased off Orion Beach, and it's the one that fought Tombstone and Ice Wave. It's our oldest Scorpios that has seen the most action. During the last seasons, we had a lot of problems with our clutch. It honestly was taking too much load, and so we're installing one with twice the torque rating. Our old one was only rated for 90 pounds. Our new one is rated for 210. Unfortunately, the new clutch was so large, we had to make an adapter sleeve and a special adaptive keyway. These are both made out of hardened steel to not get destroyed since all the weapon power will be channeled through them. But now with the adapter sleeve and the adapter keyway in place, we test fit the clutch for the first time. It is a nice snug and tight fit, which is what we wanted. So the whole point of the clutch is to, if there's a giant transfer of power back through the weapon, the gear slips and slides as opposed to breaking the gearbox. Hey Mark, we're working on Scorpios today. Hi. And uh, we're still finding chunks of ice wave inside of it. Let me know if you need this back. All right, it's time for our first test. We've loaded the batteries into the robot. We're trying to get a clear view. Now the idea is the gear should stop, but the gearbox should continue on. And it looks like it works. The gearbox is continuing to rotate and the clutch is clutching. Now, in an ideal world, the motor would continue forward and one of the two clutches would clutch. We have one on the input and one on the output. So the output one's definitely clutching. We want to see what the input one is doing. Now that one leads to the small mini mag and it is not clutching. So we're going to tighten up the front one and then do an additional test. Lots of wrenches. Double torque clutch, first test. Here we go. Seems to definitely swing harder. Not bad. <laughs> now the big question is, will it self right? Let's shut that off. First self writing test. Three, two, one, go. Easy peasy. No All right, let's flip it over, and now we're gonna do the hard way. Writing test number two with right, the. Uh... All right, three, two, one, go. Dang it. So that test failed, which means we have to disassemble the robot again, take everything out, remove the clutch one more time, and tighten it. Uh, this has to be done in a vise with a big wrench. If you try to do it on the gearbox, you will damage the gearbox. Now the reason we just don't go to the maximum tightness is that will put way too much pressure on the gearbox and just destroy it. So you have to find the careful balance which is driving Dan crazy. <laughs> Self-writing test. Here we go. 94. Self-writing test. Too many to count. One, two, three, go. The robot got back up the way it was supposed to. The new clutch fits, the new clutch swings harder, and the robot can self right from every direction, and I am not worried about it breaking down in the middle of the season like I was with the other one. So, this was an incredible day, a lot of great work. Thank you to Dan and Ben and everyone who came out to help me. Uh, tune in next week. Next week we're going to fix this thing. And uh, 
this is our weapon hub. Tombstone destroyed it, and it doesn't work anymore, and we can't get it apart. Ugh. And we can't get the other two spares apart either. So we're going to change the design a little bit. We're going to hunt down some metal at a scrapyard, and then we're going to machine and cut brand new weapon hubs. Because this season is all about making Scorpios hit harder than ever before. So I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. It really helps our channel grow. And we'll see you next week at the scrapyard. Time to dumpster dive.